Hello and thanks for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about automatically transferring items from one warehouse to another. So many times when you have multiple warehouses, take a look at our warehouse tab for this item. You may have items in a certain warehouse, but not in the warehouse you're shipping from. So in this case, we maybe have a sales order that we're placing an order for, and that sales order is attached to the wholesale warehouse, And but we just don't have stock to fulfill it. So this can all be done with Acumatica's multi-warehouse functionality. So if we take a look at this, again, we have 20 in one warehouse, but we need to move items from the retail warehouse over to the wholesale. So we're configuring this warehouse's settings for this particular item. So we'll open it up. And if we go to the replenishment tab, over here you can see the replenishment class and we have a checkbox to override replenishment settings. And normally these replenishment settings, they come over from the replenishment tab over here. But we're gonna override it for this particular warehouse. So we'll check it off. And seasonality is not a concern, but seasonality gives you the ability to based on demand, sales demand, you can increase the calculation up. You can increase the calculation of what's needed by a certain factor during certain calendar days. But we're gonna select none here. And then for our replenishment source, that's gonna be a transfer. So we're not looking to purchase these items. Instead, we wanna transfer them. Our replenishment method we're gonna use a fixed reorder quantity. What that means is that when we hit a certain point, a certain threshold, we're gonna bring over and transfer a certain quantity, a set quantity. Our replenishment warehouse is gonna be the retail warehouse. That's where we have the stock available. And that would be normally where when we purchase this item from a vendor, we normally stock it in the retail location. Don't get too caught up in the semantics of these warehouse names. Again, typically we would have some sort of holding warehouse or a distribution warehouse would be our primary. It wouldn't necessarily be called retail warehouse, but this is the example we have. And then down below, notice we have a transfer ERQ. This indicates when we create the transfer order, it only makes economic sense to transfer 20 at a time. We were to transfer single quantities, for example, by the time you get the truck and you start to move the item from one warehouse to another, there is an economic disadvantage to doing it that way. So that's why we beef up this number to make sure that it makes sense. Now, if we save this and we go over to prepare replenishment, it's going to be for the wholesale warehouse. Notice we have a wholesale sample transfer here. Quantity to process is 20. 20 is the ERQ, the transfer ERQ that we've defined there. We check it off and we click process. That's taken care of. And now if we go into and create our transfer orders, so we have a process here under sales order called Create Transfer Orders. And you could see the plan type. It came in from Inventory Replenishment. That's the screen we were previously on. If we select it and click Process, because there's only one transfer order, Acumatica will pull us right into that transfer order. And this is a sales order document, but notice it's different. It's a transfer order type. So different from seeing a customer here on this column, instead we see the destination warehouse, which is wholesale. So we're transferring quantity 20. Under addresses, you can see the ship to address happens to be our wholesale warehouse address. Of course, you can override that, but in this case, we wanna ship it to our wholesale warehouse address. So we'll create the shipment for this. It's coming from the retail warehouse. And this gives us the ability to pick and pack it. 
as soon as we confirm the shipment, we could update IN. It'll update our inventory. And if we go to purchases and go to a purchase receipt, create a new one, we change our type to a transfer receipt because we're not purchasing from a vendor. We're not receiving a purchase order. Instead, we're doing a transfer receipt. We select our warehouse that we're receiving into and we click add transfer and there's your transfer order. When we created over in the sales order module, the transfer order, it was confirmed. It'll show up here. If you don't see it, Make sure that you've confirmed the transfer order and you've updated IN. So we'll check it off, add and close, and then release. And if we go back to sales orders and we open up that sales order that originally started all this, you can see here our sample transfer we're looking for five of them and we have 20 in stock right now. So now we can create our shipment. And start to ship it out the door. So that's it. That's how we create a transfer order automatically in the system. The demand from our sales orders and the configuration of the items warehouse details can automatically create these transfer orders to which you pick and pack them, send them over to the destination warehouse where we have the demand, and then we ship out the customer's items. So if you have any questions about this replenishment or any other question about Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel and have a great day.